and here we got the output when I'm clicking this join date notice here we got the calendar control now I'm selecting the date 14 see this 12th month for the date is 14th and the year is 2018 let's format the date instead of short dot I'm adding custom format date time picker one dot custom format is equals to the format I'm adding first I'm a, I want to display date then month double M slash year that's it let's start And here we got the new output. I'm selecting the date 4th, December 4th. And see here the date is first 04. I have selected the 12th month, December 2018. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Notice in this form on design page, I have already binded a table from database into this data grid view control. Let's check the output start. And here we got the output of the table in the data grid view control which contains two columns name and join date. Notice the column join date which contains the date. Now my aim is when I click the mouse over here I want to display the calendar control inside this data grid view control. So let's start the coding part. Stop debugging. Because first we'll add the date and picker dynamically into this data grid view control. So head up the data grid view control, press F4. Notice in the properties that the fourth option is the events. Click that one in the mouse section. The cell click the first event, double click that one, and here we got the cell click event of the data grid view. Now let's add the date time picker, date time picker, date time picker one, which is the object new date time picker. Now let's add the date time picker object into the data grid view control, data grid view one dot controls dot add method in this add method I'm adding the date time picker object that's it we have added the date time picker control inside the data grid view control dynamically now I'm adding the format of the date time date time picker one dot format is equals to date time format dot notice here we got the different options I'm selecting short but I'm adding the position of the date time picker control the position must be in the join date column so this column index ID is 1 the name column which starts with 0, the column index 0 is name, the column index 1 is join date. So let's add if condition if e dot column index double equals to 1, I'm adding the closing bracket after the format starts. Rectangle class, display calendar object name data grid view one dot get cell cell display rectangle the get cell display rectangle method takes three parameters one is a column index so e dot column index comma second one is a row index e dot row index the last parameter is a boolean type which is true Let's add the size of the date time picker. Date time picker one dot size 
is equals to new size display calendar dot width comma display calendar dot height date time picker one dot location is equals to new point method display calendar dot x comma display calendar dot y that's it up to now we have just finished the date time picker control dynamically inside the data grid view control in the column index one with the height with the size and location now I'm adding some functionality when I click the cell I'll, here in the join date I want to display the calendar control as well as I want to close the calendar control so let's add private void dp date picker text change object sender event arcs e let's get the current cell of the data grid view control data grid view one dot current cell dot value is equals to uh, once I select the date from the date and picker I want to change the date in the current cell so date time picker oops here we got an error what I'm doing I'm just copying this part I'm putting at the top here date time picker one dot text property dot two string dot two string method after that after that I'm adding one more event to close the date time picker which wide date DP close date picker object sender event arcs e date time picker one dot visible is equals to false that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results start and here we got the output when I'm clicking this join date notice here we got the calendar control now I'm selecting the date 14 see this 12th month for the date is 14th and the year is 2018 let's format the date instead of short dot I'm adding custom format date time picker one dot custom format is equals to the format I'm adding first I'm a, I want to display date then month double M slash year that's it let's start And here we got the new output. I'm selecting the date 4th, December 4th. And see here the date is first 04. I have selected the 12th month, December 2018. That's it.